Okay, guys. This is take two. I just tried to record this a minute ago and accidentally stopped recording after about two minutes, so let's try this again. Um, I'm not in the mood for Left 4 Dead this morning. Uh, I just, uh, I just crawled out of bed. It is still sweltering hot. I've had to close the balcony door against sound. And, uh, I am running with sweat, and I have not got the, uh, the fluid content in my body to maintain the twitch reflexes necessary for a first-person shooter. So we're gonna try something turn-based, still in a zombie motif, called Dead Age. Uh, Dead Age is a zombie apocalypse, um, strategy role-playing game. Uh, it, I would be hesitant to call it, a, it's certainly not a tr traditional roguelike, it's not a, it's not grid-based. Um, but it, you know, in modern parlance, I mean, FTL is a roguelike. This is more of a roguelike than FTL, I'd say. It has the same kind of random events that occur, but the combat at least is turn-based. Uh, not on a grid, but turn-based in the JRPG style, so... Um, in the modern sense of the word, it is definitely a roguelike. In the old-timey sense, eh, what the fuck is, right? So, unless you're an ASCII... Unless you're Moria, you're not a roguelike, I guess, in the, in the modern, in the older sense, so... Um, I bought this uh, about a year -ish ago, uh, played it once, was intrigued, but wasn't falling in love with it, for whatever reason. Uh, and I really want to fall in love with it. It seems like it has everything that should appeal to me. Permadeath, random events, zombie survival, turn-based, man, I should love it. So let's give it another shot and see if we can find what, what it is that... Let's see if we can find the magic. Play a game. Let's play profile number two. You see my old game there. I last played on November 16th of 2018. I haven't touched it since. So I don't know that I remember, uh, aside from two minutes this morning. So I don't know if I remember how to play. I can't read that shit at the bottom right now because my stupid broadcast bar is in the, in the way. Here's the thing with Twitch. Uh, I just tried to turn the broadcast bar off in the last uh, attempt at recording this. And it won't let you. Why the fuck won't it let you? I can just watch my own clock and determine how long I've been on. But, um... Because it's in the way, I can't really see anything in the bottom right is where I've got a position. I may have to duck out and find a new position for this in a minute. Top center sucked. There's no way there's to put this that it's gonna be not in the way, for Christ's sake. Um alright, well as you can see up here, we've got a number of uh, different professions we can choose from. I wish they were unlocked. I'm sure there's reasons for them to be locked. You gotta maybe beat the game to unlock them, I don't know. Um but in any RPG, my instinct always is to try to uh model the central character after myself. Um, I know, um, you know, in any Bioware game or Bethesda game, I always try to make them, the model look as much like me as I can. I never succeed, but I try. Um, I am not a student. <laughs> my studenting days are long since past. I'm certainly not a medic. Um, my mother was a nurse. I am a writer. Uh, I am hypochondriacal. With the confluence of those three things, I have quizzed her many, many times on many medical situations, so I have, uh, I've got a, you know, probably a, a better grasp of medical knowledge than the average layman, but certainly not a medic. Don't know nothing about the bodyguard uh, realm, and I'm definitely not an engineer. I would electrocute myself if I tried to cross two wires. Um, I was, however, a soldier for four years, so I kind of wish I could you know, click that on and be like, okay, that's me. I can't. This dude does look kind of like me, though, coincidentally. The same approximate weight, same facial hair, same receding hairline. His hair's a little bit shorter, he has blue eyes, but other than that, we uh, we look similar. So I can I can get behind this. Let's actually give him my name so I can melt into this simulation and feel like, hey, that's me. Even though it's not, thank God, because I don't live in a zombie apocalypse. Just a uh, political and climate apocalypse. There we go. Um, let's go with that. What a fancy font. Um, there are a bunch of things we can do down here. Upgrades are only if you've unlocked them through metals. I haven't g gained any. We're not going to skip the prologue. I'm not going to play casual mode. We're not going to play hardcore mode and make it harder than it is. It's already fucking hard. It does have permadeath. Let's just go with the standard gameplay. As I said, I may have to duck out in a second. I'll warn you if I do to move this broadcast bar, which is currently covering the word play. Let's pl. That's what I can see. You may also have to... Oh, no, I can read this. It seemed harmless at first. Scattered individuals were reporting gaps in memory, followed later by exorbitant highs of adrenaline. Scientists were baffled and were unable to find an effective treatment. The zombie infestation spread quickly. The outbreak raged across the country and plunged the entire American continent into chaos. Government and science failed to contain it. Now, all that matters is fighting to survive. Prologue. Prologue. B 
Beware, death is permanent in this game. Any mistake can be your, I think it says last. It also says five minutes. <laughs> you let your tired gaze wander along the horizon. It is lined with scattered plumes of smoke in the distance. You strain to digest the events of the last few hours. And your coffee. Lily, are you there? Are you alright? You look around frantically, but there is no sign of your sister. Not much time could have passed since the accident. You were thrown from your car and lost consciousness at the side of the road. I have to find her! She can't be far! The country road is littered with empty cars. No sign of any people until you spot two figures in one of the more distant cars. Lily? Hello? No! Not again! He's an overactor. A grisly figure is approaching you. You've seen its kind too often in just the last few hours. In the rampant chaos of people screaming and climbing over each other, you saw several of them amidst the confusion. We saw a quest up there. I didn't read it right away because I didn't think I had a time limit to read it, but I can see it at the bottom. The Lost Sister. Find your Lost Sister, Lily. That is what you're trying to do. You can see a bit of... Well, let's press a button. Let's see if we can pass this. The horrific vagrant lopes slowly with little coordination. You are, your adrenaline and thoughts race. Feeling the onset of panic, you tear at your backpack to open it. Uh, before I move on, in case we don't have time, you can see we are, in, we are on a highway. You can see at the top. We are in area 2 out of 16. Uh, frequently on this air part of the, the place, what you can find if you were to scavenge is old clothing, old weapon parts, and bandages. There is one enemy who is an unsteady vagrant level 3. That sounds intimidating for the first fucking thing we're meeting. <laughs> oh, here we go. I can read this better. We will get 25 experience if we complete this. We have 300 health. Our experience is zero. Uh, I guess this is, what is this? Party member. We have one party member. The camp can assign three party members for exploration. Unlike campbound survivors, party members actively take part in quests and events. Only party members can earn experience through combat. Completing quests benefits all survivors of the camp. I don't think we have anything else we gotta do here, do we? Can we, can we do anything else? Le left and right bumper. In this menu, you must prepare for combat. First, equip your weapon, a club. You decide to arm yourself and return to the fight. Yes, I do. Let's equip our weapon. Uh, how? It's already. It's already, I think it's already hit here because we have gear. We have a Glock. We have a club. We have five rounds loaded. It looks like out of twenty-one total. Ammo is very hard to come by in this game. It's probably better to use a melee weapon when you can. The undead figure approaches slowly. You hear a deep gurgle. Just a few hours ago, you watched one of these creatures tear your brother apart. Not even a minute later, your brother opened his eyes. He had changed into one of those things. All right, so we got the club. I guess we can't equip this. Can we equip this as well? Uh, what's going on here? Can I not do this? I don't know how to do this. <laughs> For some reason, it's not letting me do this. Can I press X, maybe? No, no. A is, A is equipped. All right, let's, let's move on. Left bumper was was pulsing, so let's assume we want the club. It's okay, Kibbs. Let's attack, I guess. It was this very same club. Yeah, I guess we had to use the club. You used to ward off what your brother had become. Remnants of flesh and blood still mark the spot where you caved in his head. This might be the... Well, this is the prologue, I guess, to sort of teach us what the hell's going on. Alright. We have these different options. Can we right bumper through them or no? We have to left click it. Let's use melee, I guess. Let's learn what we can about them. It has a pretty in depth combat system. How do we do this, man? Up here? There you go. The unsteady vagrant can do severe damage with dual claws and poison opponents using spit. With immunity, he becomes immune to knockout and stunned. Yeah, it has a really in depth uh, combat system. I'm obviously not that familiar with it, but if we could become so, it would behoove us and I think make the game perhaps more fun as well. Yeah, so it looks like 20% resistance, whatever that means. 30% defense, reflex is 24, blah, 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 blah. Let's do a melee attack. Melee. We have only one option here, attack. A straightforward hit that does 100% physical damage. Requires no action points to use. We have one out of four action points, so I guess that's good. Let's attack him. For 24 damage. He critically hit us. Zombies can be tough, as you have recently experienced. This one could severely injure or even kill you. You remember that you have another weapon in your pack. So I should go to my backpack, it's highlighting it, okay. You remember that you can always change weapons during combat, and this is sometimes essential to survival. You arm yourself with the old side armor of your father, and look up to focus on your attacker. Alright, let's, let's equip this, because that's what it's telling us to do. 
I guess we have to follow their prompts for now. Let's equip the ammo as we have it. Alright, what do we know about this? So this thing does... Can I tell what it does? No, I guess I can't tell right now. Let's go back. You realize that equipping your new weapons takes up time. The approaching nightmare uses it to attack. Damn it. I tried to equip that right off the bat. <laughs> Die, you monster! You barely fight the pain to remain standing. Every weapon offers a range of uses once equipped. Clinging desperately to consciousness, you raise your gun to point it at your rotting opponent. It's only been a few hours. How's he rotting already? And gun. Attack. I guess all I have is an option. A straightforward shot does 100% physical damage. Then steady vagrant. Oh, fuck me. That did a lot. You thanked your lucky stars when your gunshots felled the zombie. Each shot requires ammunition, of which you don't have much. At least you found something of use on the defeated creature. Let's take his undershirt off of a rotting corpse and put it on, because that's the first thing I would do. <laughs> um, Alright, so it's, it provides us, it looks like, 2% resistance and 2% def or two defense, is my guess? Let's take it, at any rate. The shot fired has attacked, attracted other undead. They seem to sense your warm blood and flesh. They drag themselves groaning towards you. You have just enough time to prepare your equipment. You open your pack. Alright, uh, do it go like this? Okay. The blood-stained undershirt offers minimal protection from damage your attackers may cause. Uh, minimal is better than none, I would think. Let's watch our stats over there. Can we see what this is? Yeah, it looks like 0% defense and... I don't know, let's put it on. So we got 2% here. This is defense. Defense reduces damage taken by melee, throwing weapons and firearms. That's okay. I don't know what this stuff is. Maybe if we, uh, maybe if we, like, destroyed it, we would get two materials out of it? Maybe that's what that is? I'm not sure. Alright, well, it's better than nothing, right? So, let's go... back? The undead have reached you, weak, and with only a few bullets remaining, you resolve to defend yourself to the last. Well, let's attack them. Oh, there's fucking three of them. Let's stick with this gun for now, thank you very much. What do we got? This guy looks like he's the weakest. The bitten pedestrian is a relatively weak zombie when alone, but in company of other undead, he has granted additional strength. While stunned, it can use Coward's Resort to deal critical damage. As I said, quite an in-depth system. Oops, I'm sorry. We can also see he's got, uh... He has Strength 16. Maybe that's glowing green because the others are here and it grants him a bonus, is my guess. Uh, Unsteady Vagrant, the same as the one we met before, and a bitten pedestrian. So there's two of the weak ones and one of the strong ones. Let's take out the weak ones first. And let's use our handgun, because... Um, I don't want to risk uh, dying in the opening prologue. Didn't do as much as I'd hoped. Son of a bitch. Oh, thank god, we got help. Go to hell! Oh, thank you! <laughs> Shouldn't have wasted that bullet, I guess. Alright, so because we won this, we got a shirt. Let's take that. That's better than an undershirt. The armed stranger radiates an inner calm. The sheriff's uniform gives you the hope of having found an ally in this apocalypse. You should come with me. I could use another good man. Alright. Thank you, but I, oh, I guess not. I'm looking for my sister. She disappeared. Are you sure she's alive? The last few hours have seen more death than any other event in history. She has to be. She's tough. I lost consciousness and just woke up. No sign of her. Well, there's no driving on this road with all the abandoned cars blocking it. I'll walk along the road with you and help you look. Can we look tomorrow, like, let me rest? Take some ammo and a med kit. By the way, what's your name, boy? Oh, and boy? What the fuck? I have a beard, I'm not a boy. The boy isn't far off, uh... It's quite far off, sadly. <laughs> you think to yourself as you open your pack? Being a student hasn't really provided you with the experience to help you navigate this mess. You're aware that you are neither properly equipped nor ready to face the apocalypse. My name is Jeff. Where are we going, anyway? We've got a camp not far from here. You can rest up and get your bearings, Jeff. You decide to use your new med kit. Your medical inventory is limited, meaning you can only carry a finite amount of med kits and syringes. I wouldn't use it yet if I had the option, but uh, I guess it's, we're still in tutorial mode. Let's put on the shirt, first of all, because it gives us, what? 3% defense and two, uh, plus 2 to melee attack, it looks like, maybe? Let's watch the let's watch this and this and see if they go up to 32 and 4. No, 32 and 5, pardon me. Oops, did this wrong. Select it. 
What the fuck is going on? Do I have to take this off first? Equip. Try to equip it. What's going on here? Hey, equip. We have to unequip this first, maybe. Unequip. It won't let me do it. It's, it's, it wants me to do the, what it wants me to do. R for... Right stick for medical help. Alright, it wants me to use this, whether I like it or not. Alright, let's go back to gear. I didn't want to use that, darn it. You should also reload your weapon. You can combine partially filled clips. You do so with your pistol animation. Okay. Let me put on the goddamn shirt. Can I do that? Equip it. Nope. I have to do what it's telling me. Combine this. You've also found a better shirt. While the bloodstained undershirt protected you a little, the new shirt also increases your strength, which benefits your close combat damage abilities. You select the chest slot. And press A for equip. I guess I have to select this first. I guess I should learn this so I know what I'm doing. Once you've selected the according slot, equipable chest clothing will be displayed. This allows you to filter your inventory. You select the new shirt and close your pack. Alright. And yes, indeed. 32 and 3%. Oh, yes, yeah, so of course, it replaced the 2%. It didn't add to it. Okay. Now what? Oh, it's telling me left bumper. Alright. Make it to the camp is our next uh, strategy here. Getting 25 experience if we do it. Plus we got experience for killing those zombies. In the area 4 out of 16. Enemies unsteady vagrant level 3. Undead nurse level 3. Hello nurse! Your opponent is an undead nurse. You must know your foe before it can be killed efficiently. You can find out more about an enemy by selecting his Thank you. Right, he blasted the unsteady vagrant. The undead nurse still follows some muscle memory and instincts and can heal other undead. Oh, it can additionally heal poison damage. Or deal poison damage, pardon me. Alright, so it's a threat because it can heal the other guy. On the other hand, he's already hurt the vagrant. I don't know, man. Do we have... Get away with just meleeing? I'd like to do that. Let's melee attack. Let's do it with the vagrant. He's already hurting it. Ineffective. I didn't really. I didn't really look at it. He just got a good defense against. Let me look and see what I can learn about them. It said ineffective. It's got some little thing next to it. Fifty percent defense, zero percent resistance. I'm not sure what that means. Given we don't know what these things, you know, mean per se, it's hard to. Uh, hard to know how to react. What is this thing? This little uh, red screw. I'm trying to read this red thing. Is immune to stun and knockout effects. Okay, we already knew that. They're both close to death. Actually, the nurse is closer. Let's go for her. Saving our ammo since he's blasting our shotguns anyway. Nice. Alrighty. Feel you have grown stronger. This would be a good time to assess your skills. You select your skill menu. Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm not a fan of tutorials, guys. Sorry, but it, they're important because I don't know how to play. So of course it's very important. Let's take this. By the way, can we do that? Take this. Can't do that. We have to go here first. A survivor may choose from a variety of skills. You have been awarded skill points, which can be used to improve your combat and job skills. You can choose a skill that appeals to you and leave the menu. How many? We have seven skill points. I think melee is important, because I know we're going to run out of ammo, so start with that. I know when you hit these bigger ones, you gain, you gain um, like a, a new ability. So let's go with one here. It increases our strength by one. Requires no ammunition. Weakens an opponent. Is clearly less effective than the ranged attack. True. I studied fencing for a year under Canada's second highest rated fencing. I got melee skills. I studied Tung Soo Do for a year under a really, really hot instructor. She was awesome. Um, so if we take this, uh, increases strength by 3, a solid hit dealing 80% physical damage. Reduce the defense attribute of the target by 75% for 2 rounds. Nice. Requires 1 action point to use. Let's grab that. So we still have 1 left. Where do we want to put that? I'd say in one of these things it gives us like a, a special ability right away. Increases constitution by 3, raises the defense attribute of the user by 50% for 2 rounds, and awards an extra action point. <laughs> that is good. Well, again, I'll stick with what really is me, but let's see what this does. Though I did have assault rifle skills, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> if 
but I don't own an assault rifle, so let's not waste rounds there yet. Let's play it. Let's not let's stop trying to tailor him to be me and try to tailor him to win this game. Raises the defense attribute of the user by 50% for two rounds and awards us grass grab medical skills. One point is probably what I have in real life. Anyway. <clears throat> let's accept that. We can now upgrade job skills. No, we have no more skill points, so we can't upgrade job skills. So let's just go ahead and move on. Uh, what do I do? Alright, left bumper? Yeah, okay. Let's take the toboggan? They mean toque? Toboggan is a sled you ride down a hill on. <clears throat> you find a crate. The lid seems to be connected to something inside by a wire of some sort. Um probably like explosive I'm gonna try to open it because we're still in the uh, we're still in the freaking prologue so I'm assuming it can't be too bad right yep try to open uh, let's have the sheriff do it you got better cunning if that matters sheriff approaches the crate for closer inspection dot 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 Phew, it wasn't easy, but I did it. We got six materials out of that, whatever that's good for. Jeff, keep an eye on that. Money is worth nothing anymore. Materials are the new currency. Okay. Use them to trade when dealing with a merchant. You got it, sir. You leave the highway and start trekking through the woods. Luckily, the undead are few and far apart. When one appears, the sheriff makes quick work with a well-placed shotgun blast. Thank you, sheriff. You hanging in there? We'll be there soon. Still no sign of my sister. Where could she be? With luck, she is with the survivors that set up nearby. She might also have found our camp. You can rest up there. All right. We're still trying to make it to the game. damn camp. <laughs> it's taking forever. Okay. Uh, looks like we have a Rager level 1 and a Rager level 1 to fight. We're here. Look out. The gunfire on the way here must have drawn a horde. All right. So we have two guys to fight. That's not much of a horde, but there might be a second wave. I remember that from this game. Sometimes there's more waves. When a horde appears, you sometimes have to face... Oh, there you go. Several waves of undead. These encounters are more challenging, but the rewards in weapons, ammunition, and other gear are far greater. We didn't put the toque on, did we? God damn it. Protect the camp. Don't let them leave. Don't let them through the gate. How are we supposed to do that? There are so many. Oh, we have a new girl with us. You're lucky I spotted you and your undead friends here. How'd you, how'd you like this plate, gentlemen? Trish, good timing. Go ahead, Jeff. Awaiting your instructions. What? Mine? You're the fucking sheriff. Trish has a few advanced skills, but to use something as strong as her burning volley, you need two action points. Action points are generated every round. Your AP are displayed in the upper left. Complex skills requires one or more APs to use. The skill Combat Readiness, which raises your defense attribute, increases your action point by one. Use it now! For her? Okay, so what's to use it for her? Medical skill. Let's use Combat Readiness. Raises the defense attribute of the user by 50% for two rounds and awards an extra action point. Okay. On Trish, yes. But she can use it on others. That's pretty cool. Let's not waste any ammo. Our melee skill went up. What do we got here? Let's go for the bitten pedestrian because he's hurt. What are, these, what are these little symbols? So this guy has the resist knockout and shit. What's this guy got? Gives a strength attribute bonus of 25% to every Prentice and ally. Let's definitely get rid of him. We have this now as well. What does this do? A solid hit dealing 80% physical damage. Reduce the defense of the target by 75%. Nah, one, one, one or two hits will probably do it. Let's not waste anything yet. Uh, let's go for the bit pedestrian. Trish has enough action points. You can use the skill Burning Volley now. This powerful ranged attack can hit multiple targets at once. With her assault rifle. Okay. All enemies. Alright. Good enough. What the? No, it can't be as it was, my sister. With shock, you behold your enemy. Under the long and tangled hair lies the blood-soaked face of your sister, her eyes blank and hungry. She didn't make it. Well, fuck that. That's... her. What's wrong with him? He just found out he lost his sister. So there you go, he found her. We got 25 experience for finding her undead form. Lily. We're gonna assault rifle you people. <laughs> she still has two, two action points? Alright, well, let's do it again. Burning volume. It takes two, right? 
This is three rounds, it looks like. A volley of five successive shots, each dealing 33% physical damage to random targets. Has a 50% chance to cause bleeding. On critical hits, that chance is 100%. Requires two action points to use. We have it. Let's use it. There's three of them. Let's do it now. Fucking poison. Don't lose focus. That isn't your sister anymore. You know that. She's puked on me. Fuck her. You never get used to that. No, you don't. <laughs> Everything goes dark. You lose consciousness. In this state, you are unable to react. Luckily, Trish can ease your pain with a skill first aid. The skill can only be used if you have a medical syringe. I guess that was scripted that I lose consciousness there. It's kind of weird. Um, but again, it's only scripted for this prologue. Let's use her medical skills. Her first aid. This is the way we learn how to play, I guess. On me. I didn't look to see what it does. Heal 48 damage, it looks like. My bitch of a sister clawed me in my sleep. Alright, I'm back. I'm back, baby. Alright, what? how hurt are they? Um, let's use her assault rifle. To attack. What is my sister like, Lily? In life, Lily was your sister. In de undeath, she's a formidable threat. Alright. Not for long. I'm so sorry, Jeff. I understand, dude. Hang in there! And I will melee this son of a bitch to finish him off. Hopefully. Oh, to almost finish him off, damn it. Melee, let's not waste any more ammo. He's dead. Alright, we defended the camp. We got 25 experience. We got tools. We are on to day one. I guess the game is starting now proper. After 30 minutes. That's okay. Dead Age automatically saves your game at the beginning of each day. Since this is a survival RPG, manually saving during a day is not possible. Choose your actions wisely. Alright. Aching. You wake up to see Trish sitting at the edge of your bed, watching you with sympathy. She leans down to hug you comfortingly. But you don't want to talk about your loss. You just want to get back to helping the camp. Jeff, we need new weapons. Come find me in the cantina and we can talk about the details. Alright. That reminds me, I could use your help today. We found another survivor. The sheriff is on patrol with Liz. You should go pick them up. Find the sheriff and Liz on the highway at night. Go alone. Sounds like a fucking ransom. Find the sheriff and Liz on the highway at night by yourself. All right, let's do a few things if we can figure out how. Maybe we can't figure out how yet. Are there different jobs? What is what are these jobs? We haven't got any skills at like anything <laughs> because we didn't take any. I think we need at least level 100 to do this. We need level one doctor to do this. Yeah, because we took no life skills whatsoever. We can't really do anything other than proceed with the missions. But if we had um, characters with you know, various skills, they could be assigned actions that don't involve going on a mission. Um, you can see the zombie threat right now. The current threat to camp posed by zombies is at 0%. The greater the threat, the more likely the camp is to be attacked. Threat also increases the number of attacking undead. Okay, kind of like State of Decay. Punk threat. The current threat to camp posed by punks is at 0%. The greater the threat, the more likely the camp is to be attacked. Threat also increases the number of attacking punks. So far, so good. I guess let's go back. Um, well, I can't see what this says. Can you shop? We can buy stuff, theoretically, I guess. You can buy gardening gloves, apparently. Unless this is, just, like, magical. I don't know why it's, like, highlighted. Can we get to our... Can we get to this and put on, our, like, our fucking toque? Let's select the hat thing. And put on the toboggan. The toque. Call it by its name, dammit. I don't know what this does, actually. It gave us one of these. Or one speed, maybe? Increases reflex. Increase reflexes allow a combatant to attack faster and have a chance to deal a preventative strike. Or preventative strike, pardon me. Additionally, the chance to block increases by one third per reflex point. So that's good. By one third per? So it's like by one third per, like, times 35? So like 35 thirds? That's pretty good. I mean, it's 35 thir thirds of a percent. I.e., I, uh. Maybe percentage chance perhaps equal to uh, roughly 11? 11.66 is my guess. Okay. Well, that's our gear, so let's figure out what else to do. We have no more skill points. We do have available skill points. Let's give him some. Let's give him a. Well, actually, let's give him some handgun skills, too, because he's using a handgun. And let's go to life skills if we can figure out how. Job skills. Yes, keep these changes. 
job skills. What do these different things do? Survival increases critical hits by two. Unlocks the hunter and blacksmith jobs. The blacksmith can craft ammunition of quality levels one. The hunter can produce five to seven rations of food per hunt. That's pretty good, given we have people to feed. Crafts unlocks the outfitter and gunsmith jobs. Items of quality levels one and two can be crafted. A chance of crafting items at level one to three. Medical, we already have a girl with that. Let's not give him that. Unlocks a physician job. Med kits can be crafted. Cunning unlocks the guard job. Survivors can be assigned as guards to reduce damages from camp invasions or even prevent them. Let's give him survival. Get a source of food, theoretically. Alright, uh, go back to combat skills and say yes. Alright, so we did that, right? We did all that. Okay, let's get out of this thing. So we could give him this job. Now, how are we doing for food? How do we even know this shit? Oh, we have five food. And just me to feed or two people to feed? Like, How much are we feeding? Let's find out. The camp cannot survive long without rations. Every survivor uses one ration per day. Rations must also be considered when performing jobs, since some consume them. Without enough food, camp survivors suffer from hunger, which continually reduces their energy until they die. Okay. But how do we know how much we need per day? Materials can be used to craft weapons, clothing, medicine, and ammunition. They may also be functioned as a form of payment when dealing with merchants. Alright, got it. Tools, some weapons, and clothing can require rare tools in order to be crafted. Understood. Maybe let's do what he said to do first. Let's stick with the mission we have first, then we'll hunt tomorrow. We can... What are challenges? What the fuck? Oh, okay. You can earn medals in combat, which you may use to unlock upgrades for a new playthrough. Okay, well, cool to know. Let's move the fuck on. How do we how do we do that? Go to the cantina. The sheriff has found a new survivor and has taken her along on a patrol. Find the sheriff and Liz on the highway at night. We have two days to do this. Fuck that. Let's do some hunting then. Let's get some food in her bellies. How, how? Right here. Hunter. Alright, let's get some food so we're not uh, totally devoid of food. When Jeff performs a job, the day ends. Do you wish for Jeff to perform a job? Yes. Alright, so we still have time to meet them, apparently. Alright, so we actually didn't get... Oh yeah, we did. Okay. So we actually found six materials and one tool. It's like in the woods, I guess. And we crafted, i.e. hunted, six rations. Okay. We used two rations. There you go. That's how much we're using per day right now. And one tool. So we, our net gain was four rations and six materials. Let's move on. Uh, to... Oh, a woman enters the camp. She looks tired and worn out, but shows no interest in joining up. She offers to trade with you. All right. For a discount of six materials, she offers to trade you this clothing, an undershirt, level three. Let's see... How much it costs? Well, wait, what does an undershirt level 3 do for me? Can I see it? I guess we're accepting the offer. You accept the trade and receive the clothing. Okay. Dawn is breaking. Your survivors had a chance to recover 20% of their health. And we weren't hurt, of course. Let's take a look at... Okay. Aren't you supposed to be on the highway at night? I hope you settle in, Jeff. This camp is safe, but I have a feeling it may not stay that way. I'll give you fair warning if our situation changes. Okay. If you find any survivors, you should try to help them. You can assign them job tasks, provided they have the proper skills. Got it. Okay, we're getting... We're starting to get slightly the hang of this. <laughs> How do we get out of this board, of course? <laughs> we don't know that. Let's go to jobs. We leveled up. We got experience for that? Alright. Well, let's give him some more skills. Let's give him more melee. Let's make him a badass melee dude. Increase his strength by four and requires no ammunition. Weakens an opponent. It's clearly less effective than the range attack. Okay. Make him a brute anyway. Eliminator. A kick that does 50% physical damage. Has a 75% chance to knock out the target. On a critical hit, that chance is 100%. Requires two action points to use. Got it. Can't do it right now. Takes three. We're going to give him some medical skills. Let's, should we give him engineering skills as well? An attack that does... Let's go to life skills. Let's do that instead. Yes. Should we make him better at survival? Increases critical hits by four. Raises the job level of the hunter, and with that, the yield of food hunted. Raises the job level of the blacksmith. Okay. Increases the chance of success during hunter events. Got it. Let's give him that. Can we give him anything else? No. What does this do? Increases chance to block by two. Let's... What do we got? One left? Let's give him one of those. Okay. And accept. And let's go to, like, gear. So we already have this. What is this doing for us? Can we see... Two, a physical attack, and 3% this. What do we buy? 
Oh, our thing is better. Uh, we have a backup thing for other people, I guess. Oh well. What are you going to do? I didn't really need that, I guess. Um, let's go to... Something else. Anything else. Um, the mission. Alright, let's do it. Time limit is today. Let's do this goddamn thing. How do we do this? Alright. What are we? What is it saying to me? Do I... Oh, I can take a party member. I see. I can go... It said to go alone. Let's go alone. I don't understand what it's saying. Do I select this? Highway at night. Why do I need to go to... Oh, this is me asking her questions. Holy shit. They'll need some time to get, gather resources. You're just making sure they get home safely. Is the highway more dangerous at night? No doubt about it. Zombies tend to congregate more after dark. Make sure you take some ammunition. A close combat weapon by itself isn't going to cut it. Have you seen my melee skills, woman? Tell me about yourself, Liz. Who is Liz? She's a new survivor, the sheriff... Oh, I thought you were Liz. You're Trish. A new survivor the sheriff found on patrol. She's a nurse. Which would be very handy for recovering from injuries and crafting of medkits. Agreed. Why I gotta go alone? When you meet up with Liz and the sheriff, that makes three. Any more than that, you attract unwanted attention. Got it. Alright, let's do this shit. Later. Later, loser. How do I do it? <laughs> I have talked to her. Gear, combat skills, jobs. Can I give him the job of going out here? Is that... How do I do that? Let's just select Jeff. No. Fuck me. What do you think, guys? How do we do this? If we don't do it now, we lose them, I think. What do I do? Do I just click this on? Or do we end this? Later. What does right trigger mean? Oh, she has several jobs for us. We can also craft a weapon. Which we can't do because we don't have the parts. I don't know how to, how to initiate this. Alright, end. Maybe we shouldn't be in... Can we get out of this? Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back. Okay, here we go. Got it. Let's travel. To the highway at night. The new survivor and the sheriff are on the night highway. Should you choose to explore elsewhere, it could have dire consequences. Let's go to the night highway. I can't read this stuff because my thing's blocking it. Most effective weapon against a zombie horde is the shotgun because it's cone-shaped. I can read that much. You feel nervous about going out alone at night. You found out from Trish that you will be meeting the others in Area 2. Alright. So we're in Area 1. It looks like we have to progress through from here to Area 2. And we're going to be facing these three freaking things right off the bat. An undead nurse, an undead vagrant level 2, and a bitten pedestrian level 1. Got no choice, however. Let's attack. Oh my god, I can't see what the fuck's going on. Oh, here they are. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, damn, it's dark tonight. Okay, so we know about money of these guys, right? It, uh... Weak went alone, but in company of others, he's granted additional strength. I think we need to get rid of her first so she's not healing shit, right? Can additionally deal poison damage. And he is probably the most deadly of the bunch, but uh, I'm going to try to uh, take out the nurse. What does a leg shot do? Nice. A single shot that does 100% physical damage reduces the target's reflexes by 75% for two rounds, effectively reducing the target's chance to block slightly. Interesting. There's double damage to unconscious targets. We don't want to do that right now. Actually, I might do this first. Uh, no, melee, sorry. Melee. I'll do this first. A solid hit dealing 80%, but it reduces the defense of the target by 75%. So hopefully that would help me with the, uh, the follow-up shot with the handgun. So let's try that first. Breakthrough. On the undead nurse. Hoping that lowered her defense. Did. Yeah, we can see that here, right? Yeah, I'm trying to see, I'm trying to see this thing. It's a little hard to steal this thing. Lowers the defense after we lose 75%. Okay, now let's try the handgun. Maybe we can just plug her now. Oh yeah, that worked out alright. Let's try that again. I don't know if we have to do that. This just requires one action point. But we've got two left. Bit pedestrian. Locking the shit pretty good for some reason. Now 
attack and then the best for The strategy seems to be working out okay. Let's try it again. We're getting back one per turn anyway. I think. We seem to be gaining more than we're using, so. We're gaining two per turn? Ineffective. Let's try it again. Oh, maybe it may. It looks like it affected him in some way. Let's attack him now. Fuck me, that hurt. It's only last one turn, that thing? Yeah, it only lasted one turn. Let's do a straightforward attack. I think we can kill him. Oh, get him next time for sure. Alright. Take out three motherfucking zombies. We got steel. Crafting thing. Okay, let's take that. The group discovers an abandoned rest stop. You carefully pick a path through the building while not. While trying not to attract attention. With luck, you'll find something edible. Alright, let's loot it. Okay. Oh, we found something. Rations. Four. Good stuff. You see some light ahead. It could be Liz and the Sheriff. Unfortunately, you're not the only one drawn to the light. Many zombies are heading towards it as well. When do I get a chance to, like, reload my gun? Ah, here is Jeff. He'll get... Oh, I want to reload my fucking gun. He'll get you back to camp safely. Let's show these zombies who's the boss. It's not Tony Maselli. I guess um, I'm not going to get a chance to do that. Let me lower his defense for the next guy. This is ineffective, but I lowered it by... You see up here, it's got a 3 on it. Is that how many turns it lasts, or...? This defense is down to 12%. On the Xbox, it's a little hard to point at this. It lowers the defense attribute by 75%. Alright, whatever. This is my... Oh, it's her turn. Let's not waste any ammo, man. We can take this guy down. I have no control over the sheriff. He's just doing his own thing. It might be three turns. Alright, good stuff. Wave two out of three. Oh, fuck me. Alright, let's... break through. The nurse... Let's have her handgun the nurse. Yeah. I'll just do a straightforward attack on the uh big He's already hurt. And I'll have her likewise. A few melee attacks will do it. As well as one, uh, as well as one single shotgun, just a will. We combine them all together. There we go. Serve that ammo. Wave three out of three is a shit ton coming. Low blow, he nut fucking punched me. That son of a bitch, I'm doubled over. <laughs> what does that mean? I missed my next turn. Do we know? Can we see what that means? I don't know if I can see what that means. I'm guessing I missed my next turn based on the fact that I'm doubled over. What is she going to do? Not a... Well, yeah, she can melee the undead nurse. Oh my god, she didn't kill it? You consider that. It looks like when he hit me, I stood back up. Maybe I stunned. If you hit again, you're, you're unstunned. Okay. Well, I'm definitely meleeing the, uh, the nurse to get rid of me. She can handgun. What does the suit do? I mean, he's a new guy, isn't it? The agile suit can, can deal severe bleeding damage using bite. It can additionally use low blow to stun a target. Yeah, well, we saw that in action. Let's uh, shoot him. The suit. I'm sure a dishonorable discharge does. It's a form of special attack. 
I'm gonna just straight up melee the uh, suit because I can definitely take him out. Or maybe not definitely. I can possibly take him out. Surely she can do 13 damage, yeah? Alright, he's dead. Oh yeah, we did it. We got uh, ooh, 21 rounds. That's pretty good, giving me used barely any. 21 rounds, let's take that. Before I do that, can I go here and, like, reload shit? Alright, I guess I can't. Can I do it elsewhere? No. Alright, let's just take this. Well done! That took forever. For some reason, they get hungrier at night and group into hordes more often. Thank you for your help, Jeff. We found a few materials. Our little adventure paid off. We should go back. This doesn't seem like a good place to hang around for long. Come on, let's take the car and drive back to camp. Here, Jeff, for your troubles. Why don't you see who needs the med kit the most? And that would be me. Find the sheriff and Liz on the highway at night. Go alone. We did it. We got 100 experience, two tools. Summary of the day, we found four rations that would be in the rest stop, I guess, and we used, or, or maybe we found that separately, I don't know. And we used two rations, so we still came out ahead. I'm assuming we need more rations now. We have more people. A woman enters the camp. She looks tired and worn out, but shows no interest in joining up. She offers to trade with you. So you can see there's these random events. Coincidentally, we got the same random event twice, but it is random, I assure you. For a discount of two materials, she offers to trade you this clothing. Flip-flops. Yes, let's take that. Except that I want flip-flops for two materials. Okay. Dawn is breaking. Your survivors had a chance to recover 20% of their health. Well, yippee Kai, motherfucking A. All right, let's take a look at... Oh, there's a knock at your door. The woman you saved last night steps in, smiling. The secret mission. Speak to Liz in the cantina. It was quite a fight last night. If you hadn't shown up when you did, we might not be alive today. I wanted to thank you personally. How, Liz? I try hard to do my job well. Would you like to patrol with me together today? I couldn't read that to save my life. Would you like to patrol together with me today? There we go. Well, I do have a problem I would like to solve first. Come see me in the cantina if you wanted details on it. See you around, sucker. Hey, Jeff, I hear the merchant asked about you. I told him to wait for you in the cantina. Good business. Sell a flip-flops to the smuggler waiting in the cantina. Well, I have flip-flops, so let's, uh, let's look at a bunch of things. <laughs> first of all, is anybody ready to level up? How do we do that? Gear... Let's not do that yet. Uh, let's go to... Can I do this? Can I take more more ammo? Alright, I've got as much as I can carry. Looks like. Can I... Oh, I can switch through to Liz, though. Let's give her the same thing. She has a... Uh, likewise. Let's give her more ammo. Let's give her an undershirt. So she's walk, walking around our camp topless, I guess. <laughs> what the fuck? Do you have anybody else we can give shit to? No, it's just the two of us we have control over. Okay. Um, let's go... We're gonna go there in a second. Do we have anything more here? We do not. She does not. I do not. That's all we have control over. We give them jobs. Let's go here to him. He wants us to sell him... Let's see. How do we do this? What would the flip-flops do for us, by the way? They would give us 2% defense. I'd like to use it, but if we can sell it and gain something... But how do we do this again? Waiting in the cantina. Five days remaining. I mean, I could fucking wear them for four days and then do it, but I'll forget. You know me. I will forget to do it. So let's just go do it now. It's not, it's not wise play, but it is good uh, recognition of my own flaws as a human. No, I don't want to sell it to him for one fucking materials. I want to sell it to him for whatever the hell else he's offering. Cost me more than that to buy it. Well, I get, but I get ex... All right, let's, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Sure, for 100 experience and four tools as well, right? Nicely done, Jeff. As promised, your reward. Give me a few days and I'll have a lucrative personal... or proposal, pardon me, to make to you. See you around, partner. See you around, partner. All right. So he's selling some shit. For six materials, we could buy a shotgun. That'd be fucking nice. How do we, how do we, how do we scroll this? Oh, using the D-pad. Medical supplies. Medical supplies. What is that from? In that voice. Medical supplies. Not sure. Gardening gloves. This looks great. How do we know how much shit costs? 18. This costs 18. We have 25. 
Medical supplies would get 15 of these. That could be useful in a, in a pinch. Hand brace. Whew, those gardening gloves look nice. But uh, I want the medical supplies. I think I need the medical supplies. In fact, let's buy those. So they're on hand. Challenge completed. A shop newbie. Okay. We have pistols and shit. We've all leveled up and shit. Excellent. Let's go deal with that. Uh, if I can remember where. We have challenges unfolding as well. Where is this? So she can take combat skills. She's a medic. Let's, let's crank up her medical skills best we can, for one thing. Usable independent of equipped weapons. Heals or buffs allies. Cannot be used to attack opponents. Ammunition is rare. We just bought a shit ton, though. Let's definitely give her as much of this as we can. Raises the strength of an allied target by 60% for two rounds. Increases her own constitution by 15%, I guess. Requires one action point. Let's, we can't quite get that, can we? Okay. So let's give her handgun skills instead. Make sure she's uh, effective in that regard. Can't quite. <laughs> let's give her melee skills so she's got something there. Let's accept that. Alright, let's go to him. Let's give him his new thing. Eliminator. A kick that does 50% physical damage. Has a 75% chance to KO the target on a critical hit. That chance is 100%. Requires two action points to use. Let's give him that. He still has two left over. There's two left over. Let's go over to job skills. Yes, let's accept that. Survival man. Let's make him a skilled hunter. Can't do it. Don't have enough. Cunning. Maybe it costs the same amount per level you're at, I think, is what it is. Let's do that. Accept that. Increases chance to block, raises the job of guard, and increases awareness of break-ins and surprise attacks of scavengers, punks, and undead. Raises the chance of lock-picking events, resulting in success. Okay. Good to know. Uh, so let's get out of this. Let's go to... Fuck, I don't know what. We've got the equipment just doled out as much as we want. Right? Everybody has what they need or want or can, or can carry. Apparently I'm pantsless. I'm like in an underwear and a rotten shirt. Alright, let's speak to Liz in the cantina, I think. Is there, is there several things we can do? Or weapon crafting. Craft a weapon. We can't do this right now, unfortunately. We don't have the materials or the old weapon parts. Get more details by speaking to her. Let's speak to her. The camp is almost completely defenseless. We need you to craft a new weapon in the job section. Okay, well, I'll do so as soon as I can. How do I craft a weapon? You or another survivor can craft in the job section. A gunsmith needs to have at least level one in the outfitter job. The process takes one night and uses up some rations and tools. <clears throat> Got it. Where would I find materials for a weapon? Can't do that. You can usually find weapon parts on zombies, other survivors' crates, or abandoned buildings. There are more in the city. The sheriff is still trying to find us a way in. What do you do around here, Trish? Seriously. I work odd jobs and manage inventory. When something comes up that requires your help, I'm the one who generally lets you know. You're Lily Ritter in State of Decay. Thanks for help. Thank you for all your help. I don't know if I'll be staying, though. I'm pretty sure I will be, <laughs> given this is the game. You should definitely stay. You can't survive on your own out there. We'll be your new family. We'll all watch out for each other. Sounds good. I just lost my family. I'm not certain I'm ready for another. Look, we have a plan, and you could be a part of something here. Something that can give you a purpose. And later. Alright, let's go talk to the other person. Liz. The secret mission. Now that you've brought Liz back to camp, she has asked for another favor. She wants to speak to you in private. Hot damn. What's your mission, Liz? You said something about a problem? I'm glad you came. I have a feeling I can trust you. You did save my life after, after all. And I spell that as one word. Because I'm like that. It's about an heirloom, which is one word. Belonging to my deceased boyfriend, also one word. It could really be a big help. Can you keep this to yourself until we've found it? You have a boyfriend? <laughs> sure, I can keep a secret. It's an AK. What the fuck? It's an AK-47 in great condition. My boyfriend was a weapons nut. He kept it in a cabin in the woods. Are you in? Fucking right I'm in. Why are we keeping this a secret? In the light of the world we inhabit now, I generally only trust myself. But it's a long trek to the end of the woods. 20 areas by your maps. But it's important to explore every, everything we can. We have to go through 20 areas? <clears throat> Tell me about the AK-47. What was your boyfriend doing with one of those? He had some connections to the Russian military, and he was a sucker for stuff like that. You know, he was in the NRA. Like all NRA members, he was had connections to the Russians. He took really good care of it, even improved it a little. It's in really good shape 
knowing him. End of the woods. What's at the end of the woods? A lot of problems. Zombies galore, and I've heard rumors about rabid wolves. Oh, fuck, that sounds shitty. Alright, guys, we have five minutes left. Um, before we'd be ending this episode, typically. I'm gonna suggest we end it now. Um, we don't, we won't go on the mission yet. But we've at least gotten a, a sense of what dead age entails. I'm sorry we had to do the prologue together. I almost feel like that, that felt like a waste to me in some ways, because, uh, I didn't feel like I was playing the game so much as being handheld. But, you know, it taught me how to play, and it taught you how to play, so it taught us how to play. Is a quicker way of summoning that up. Summing that up. Um, but I'm going to call it here. <clears throat> I'll be back uh, probably tomorrow with some more Dead Age. Um, I'm kind of enjoying it. It looks like it could be interesting. I have... I need some health, don't I? I guess she can heal me en route if I, if I need to. Can I use this in... Can I use anything here? Like... Oops, if I wanted to heal him, how do I do that? We have the medical supplies. Can I use this? Somebody has to equip this. Let's, let's go to her and equip it. She already has some? She has 15 out of 15. Okay. I don't think I can give her any more than she has. Okay, we're good to go. When we come back, we will go with Liz to find her boyfriend's AK-47 in the woods. Until then, have a lovely day. It sounds like the heat is going to break today, according to my, uh, my sources. My sources being the Weather Network. Um, so... Hopefully you survived the uh, the heat storm we've had and uh, and and good luck. Sorry, I forgot when I leave this screen, you can't hear me. And good luck. Bye.